Hi. Welcome to Walmart parking lot. <laughs> If you want to improve your knowledge around trucks towing and all things camping and RV related, make sure you subscribe and click that bell notification so you don't miss a thing. 10 o'clock at night, a little later than I had hoped. Well, we tiny camper. Because I pull over and across there. Oh, they're just getting here. Yeah. Little kid. Okay, I can shut off our I'm a little concern what's going on over there. They're gonna sleep in their back seat, I think. You think? Yep, I think they got their back seats are flat. Oh, that's speed panting. I know. Is this Joni Parker? I just don't know where I'm gonna go. You might. Oh, look at this, that one. Oh, quickly down. Someone's going to have to get out and back me in because I'm going to back in right behind that motorhome. This place is busy. I want to sleep in there. I won't be sleeping long. I'm going to have to check my tail swing. We are in Walmart in Bangor, Maine tonight. It's uh, after 10 o'clock when we arrived. As with most camping trips, they take a lot longer than you anticipate. Just a general pan of the area where the motorhomes go. And they are kind of overflowed a bit within this area. It's really busy tonight. There's probably eight or nine campers and there are other people in vehicles, just in cars and trucks. The Midland tractor trailer arrived probably 15 minutes ago. So we are up here. I tried to wedge myself in between the motorhome and the end of the curb area, the best I could. I closed up the tonneau cover, I didn't want it open. We do have our generator in there. I got one of the bikes out here locked onto the frame. The other one's in the back of the truck. We're not going to drop our jacks tonight, but I did use our levelers. What I did read online about this site is that it is sloping, and it most definitely is. Some areas are more sloped than others. And here we are for the night. So we're set up for the night. It's probably about 10.30. Tara and the kids are gone into Walmart to pick up a couple things to get us through the rest of the night, which really isn't much. I think the kids are more excited about camping at Walmart and, and checking out the store in the, in Maine here. I will admit I feel a little bit sketched out with um, not being in a typical campground. This is something new to us. It's our first Walmart experience, so we'll see how the night goes. The place is packed. The reality is everybody's here for the same reason, save a few bucks, you get pinch for time, you need a place to crash that's relatively safe, don't want to spend the money or really can't afford to stay in a hotel. So there's uh, probably a bit of a mix here, but we're all here for one reason, to get a night's rest and uh, continue on our travels the next day. We'll see how the night goes. Hopefully it's a quiet one and not a rowdy one. See you in the morning. Good morning. So we did survive our night at Walmart. It actually went pretty good. The one thing we did hear some was some cars zooming around. But not right in the parking lot, just off in the off on the other side streets. But uh, people with uh, what I call the fart cans on the cars do make uh, make a lot of noise, so it didn't go too bad though. One of the things, and I will, uh, I don't know if you can hear it right now, but is generators. Now you are potentially surrounded with generators. 
and our area wasn't too bad. But there is one that just fired up behind us, and it's annoying enough to scare the dog. Come on over, let's have a look. So with the large motorhomes, you do have onboard generators. In this case, this one is just fired up about 20 minutes ago. I'm really glad he wasn't running it last night, but that would be, of anything, a tip that I would give is that if you're looking for as quiet a spot in a Walmart parking lot, don't set up close to one of the motorhomes. Most of them are set up with generators, so in this case, they could fire up at any time. Assuming you have options, because sometimes you don't have any options, just like us. So we're a little after eight o'clock. Kind of surprised there's as many still here, but I do smell bacon, so somebody's cooking breakfast. It's not for us though. I'll have to do our own. Two couples of motorhomes here from Florida. As I briefly mentioned last night, the entire lot is on a grade, so it could be a little tricky if you're trying to get yourself leveled up and keep your fridge running. For us, we kind of nosed in here next to the motorhome, so I'm, I'm fairly level nose to tail on the grade side to side. I did use our leveling devices. A few different manufacturers of these things I decided to come up with a way and, and made my own. So as a Walmart camping newbie your first nights in the bag I think it went pretty good. I was feeling a little anxious last night when we were first coming in. It was late too so I was a little anxious getting things set up. And there's a few more things we're gonna pick up this morning before we continue on to Jefferson. But for now Time to grab some breakfast. So tell me about your experience overnighting at Walmart. Drop a comment down below. And remember, if you want to improve your knowledge around trucks towing and all things camping and RV related, make sure you subscribe and click that bell notification so you don't miss a thing. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.